All right, so I'm Steve James here at Dream Guitars in Weaverville, North Carolina, where they are invested in uh, showcasing and handling the work of some of the great contemporary uh, luthiers here. And I've, I've done quite a bit of uh, video presentation for, for Dream Guitars, not only today, but over time, playing and enjoying these beautiful guitars. But also here at Dream Guitars, they have the opportunity sometimes to um, to um, curate some um, some beautiful vintage guitars. And here is a rare piece. This is a 19th century Martin um, style 126. And uh, I've got it in open tuning, open D tuning, D A D F sharp A D. I'll take it, and um, which is called in American vernacular, the tuning is called Vastipole. Vastipole, and uh, I always wondered, like Furry Lewis and people would use that term, and I wondered what they were talking about. Well, actually, what they were referring to was a body of American guitar literature that came in portfolios like this, Pearl Drops for the guitar, that featured the the compositions of American guitarists, uh, including Henry Worrell who was um, quite a prominent guitar player at, at the time in the 19th uh, century. And uh, he composed songs that uh, largely in open tunings that were, that were easy to play, and he had methods, Worrell's Guitar School, it was called. And, uh, and his songs were very popular. The guy wrote the Spanish Fandango, right? Enough said about that. And he also wrote this song at the time of the Crimean War. I got the sheet music and learned Learning, learning it from there, Sebastopol. And this is a very popular guitar piece. That's where the name comes from. Um, uh, Sebastopol con uh, constructed in the American way into Vastopol or Vastopool, for it used to call it. But anyway, it's pretty. I'll play a little bit of that song so you can see, um, or hopefully hear where a little bit of where our uh, fingerstyle guitar, uh, one of the one of the influences that made it what it is was this beautiful guitar literature of America in the 19th century. This is Sebastopol. Let me see if I can play it. There's more of Sebastopol, but it involves drumming on the guitar, and since this one don't belong to me, I think I'll leave off and then drumming part. And, uh, anyway, so here you have it, old Martin uh, Style 126, Steve James, dreaming here at Dream Guitar.